morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022. I'm in Esterhazy. Esterhazy? It's crazy. I'm in Esterhazy, Saskatchewan. I'm delivering this freight in this roll tight step behind me. And then I think we're heading up to the Paw to grab a reload and headed back. So I slept at the co op here in town. It's a nice quiet night. No issues. This freight behind me is a little heavy, which is good in the winter time. It's a Canadian load, so it's uh, legal for Canadian weights. I'm probably sitting uh, over 80,000 pounds. I think I'm at about, oh, what did the scale say yesterday? I don't quite remember. I think I'm probably about 83,000 pounds. I'm allowed to be a total of 87,500 pounds gross. I've got a tri-axle on the trailer, so that allows me to haul even more weight. And there were no issues. This is the first roll tight that Old Blue has pulled. I used to pull them all the time while I was doing city work. And that old Pete, you gotta remember that. I kinda like this because these roll tights are blue, they match the truck. It's almost like I planned it that way. So I looked up the paw from here. Take the next ride onto Ganchi Avenue. There's only one way to go. What? I guess I could, no, yeah, it says, the sign even says, there's only one way to go. What are you talking about? Confusing me. I guess I could go down that way. That's a driveway, it looks like. And that's a private yard. So yeah, we'll take the right. Thank you. In 600 meters, your destination will be on the right. All right then. I forgot how fun these things were to deal with, especially in the winter time. Got my workout this morning. Just gonna clean off this trailer bed here. I've already closed everything. I'll put down this flap. We'll get our next load. So if you guys watched my videos from last year, you would have seen me pulling these around quite a bit. We call them roll tights, but really their name is Conestoga. It's a Conestoga trailer named after the covered wagons that took the pioneers west when settling North America. They're very handy to have because then you don't have to tarp your freight, but you still have a flatbed that you can load from the side. We have a whole division of just roll tights. I'm on regional open deck, so usually I have an open deck trailer behind me, but today's a special day. As you can tell, they pick up every little piece of road grime, but that's kind of the point of them. The outside's kind of dirty, right? But the freight inside is nice and clean. Now it just needs a good bath. Off we go, rolling down Saskatchewan Highway 80, northbound. Take 80 all the way up the east side of Saskatchewan here, where then we're gonna dip into Manitoba. I'm gonna try to get to the pub before they close. It looks like I'm gonna get there around four o'clock. Uh, which isn't the greatest, because I think they might close at four o'clock. And if that's the case, uh, of course, then I'd have to pick up in the morning. Then northeast on Saskatchewan, New York. I already told them. Actually following Google today instead of Karen. Very often you gotta be very careful when you follow Google Maps in a truck. Uh, it doesn't always take you down truck routes. Whereas my Rand McNally GPS is programmed for just truck routes for the most part, right? But today, Karen up there wants to take me an extra half hour around the long way. Google knows the shortcut. I checked it, it's all paved roads. Russell! 
Every time I come through Russell, Manitoba, I think of Russell Peters, comedian. You guys know him? It's hilarious. He's from Canada, actually. T Toronto area. I think I got to turn here, right? What in the world? My GPS was just telling me to turn here. But now it doesn't want me to turn here. Yes, it does want me to turn here. Karen, make up your mind. I have her volume turned off now too. You know what? Now she wants me to turn around again. What's going on here? Oh, I'm supposed to go up to 83 over there. Not up Main Street. Okay. Okay, well, problem solved. We'll just turn left up ahead here. We'll just get to the highway this way. See, that's why I don't turn her volume off. Even though she annoys me so much and I'm always telling her to be quiet. If I turn her volume off, I miss my turn like that. Took a lot too long again. A lot too long. A lot too much time. A lot. That took too much time. I wanted to be gone already. I got six and a half hours left on my full 16 hour day. And I'm going to need every little bit of it. And I'm probably still not going to make it. I have to deliver this to a spot near Deacon's Corner, east of Winnipeg. 650 kilometers away. <laughs> probably not going to make it. But we'll get close. So I'm hauling a whole load of empty barrels. It's about 14 skids, I think, with four barrels on each skid banded together. 
Someone near Winnipeg needs them. I am their hero. I will bring you your barrels. I'm your man. You can count on me. At 200 meters, turn left on Hazel Street. Where do we got to turn here? So this is still uh, the Paw, Manitoba. The is spelled the, T-H-E. Paw is spelled P-A-S. The Paws. The Paw. Oh, we want to go this way, don't we? Now, nah, yeah, we want to go this way. Karen, I don't want to go that way. I have to keep going this way. Sorry. You see the little truck there with the arrow? They want us to go this way. We're going to turn left right up ahead here at the lights. I don't know why she doesn't want me to turn at the lights. Pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. It's a nice little town. Well, it's... Nice Manitoba town. All right, see, there's the little sign says the truck with the green circle around it. I can go any direction I want to. But hopefully people aren't going to pull up as far as that pickup because I'm going to have to drag my trailer around. Downtown. Courthouse, 1916. That's what it says on there. That's when it was built. Over 100 years ago already, eh? 110? No, 105 years ago? 106? 107? I can't count. <laughs> nice truck. I don't know when I'll be getting a new truck. My truck's working just fine, so I don't really see a need to buy a new truck. And it's paid off. That's the best part. I have no desire to get another loan for another pickup and I don't have the cash to spend on a pickup I'm gonna spend that on a house it's gonna be very tight getting all the way down there exactly six and a half hours left on my day all together like even if I stop that clock is still gonna keep counting and I have 646 kilometers from here to go. <laughs> I'd have to go exactly 100 kilometers an hour the entire way. And there's a few towns we need to slow down for. So we'll, we'll figure it out once we get closer. That's another six hours yet. What's the time? That'll be after midnight. Maybe I'll stop around midnight. We'll see. Which means I'll probably deliver, you know, mid-morning tomorrow. Probably around 9, 9 o'clock or so, 9, 10 o'clock. Head back to the yard. They need this trailer back in the yard. And I don't know if they're gonna have anything for me because I've gotta be home Friday. It's, it's gonna be a long weekend. We'll, we'll see what happens. I also need to put the new decals on my doors. I have the new ones with the town name spelt correctly. I ordered them myself. Okay, so I cut it a little close. I forgot to fuel up in the paw. And I couldn't make it all the way to Winnipeg, so I had to come around the long way and fuel up in Dauphin because I was already almost halfway here, or I was already at the turnoff to the 10 when I realized and it'd be way too long to go back to the pot of fuel. So I had to come down around the west side of the lakes to Dauphin where we could fuel here, but we made it. I don't have enough fuel to get to Winnipeg. Maybe I would, but just barely. I don't really want to risk that at this time of year, especially any time of year. So we're here, let's fuel her up. It's gonna be a big one. Okay, so before we go out, oh, I have all my stuff back here. I was in such a rush, because uh, I'm always in a rush. That's why. I'll throw my sweater here. I'm tired. Been working for 14 hours today already. 
Or I've been awake 14 hours since I started my day anyways. <sighs> okay, it's not that cold out. A sweater will be fine. I think it's about one degree Celsius. Okay, where's my shoes? Oh, I'm gonna finally throw out my garbage. Fantastic, let's throw this stuff out. Let's not forget that. <sighs> they have garbage cans here, right? Really better have garbage cans here. I don't I don't know if they got a garbage can here. Oh what the hunt? What? I don't know, garbage cans? Just let me put my shoes on. I don't know, figure this out. You hear that? a bunch of bacon over there in that trailer. Okay. Oh, listen to that. Empty. There we go. Oh, that's like hitting the bottom of the tank. Nice. So this is the Petrol Pass card lock, if you haven't gathered that, in Dauphin, Manitoba. This one has a satellite, so it's really handy. Though you can still only fuel one side at a time, because this is Canada, and not everything here makes sense. Once I turn this pump on, that pump turns off, you see. Lame. Okay, this is going to be a while. Do a walk around and check our trailer. Some Velcro is having problems sticking here, eh? <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. I'm just gonna give each tire a little kick here. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wonderful. Everything here is still good. Two, three, four, five, six inflated tires on the trailer. That's fantastic. It's good news. Oh, and they do have a garbage can right here. Fantastic. Lots of fantastic stuff going on here. It's the word of the hour. Fantastic. We're at 138 liters and counting. It'll be quite a bit. Quite a bit. You know what's weird about Petrol Pass? They don't give you a price. Like, the price isn't posted here anywhere of the fuel. It doesn't print off on the receipt. It doesn't show on the pumps. I have no idea how much money I'm spending on fuel right now. I have to wait until my fuel receipt comes back at the end of the month to go back and look and enter it into my records of how much I actually spent here today. I don't know why. Like, why wouldn't they put the price on the pump, right? Like, you don't want to scare us away or what we're gonna buy your fuel regardless people need their stuff oh there's velcro here again it's not there we go I just, I just don't get that like i like, take a look at this what do i mean like here it's counting the liters right nowhere on here does it say the price there's no signs anywhere posting the price I can print the receipt off after. It's just going to show me the liters. It's not going to show me the price. Did anyone else find that just kind of annoying? Or is it just me? Maybe I'm just tired and getting annoyed by everything. No idea how much we're spending here today. I just got to sort of do a rough estimate based on Flying J prices. Because Flying J posts their prices, right? So I usually go online. I look at the nearest Flying J on my app. I look at the price and that's just what I'll enter in for now. Because it's got to be close to that, right? And then I have to wait till the end of the month and I get my whole invoice and my whole receipt from Petro Petro Pass, And then I can go back in my records and adjust the prices to what I actually paid. Which is usually pretty close, within a few cents per liter, but... Right? Look at this, this one doesn't even say anything. Weird. Oh, old Blue's dirty. Look at her. Look at his dirty. Ugh. Oh. I saw this uh, great TikTok, 
or a great reel or whatever you want to call it, YouTube short. Uh, what was it, just yesterday? And there was someone on there saying, why do you wash your truck if it's just gonna get dirty again, right? Well, the response to that is, why do you wipe your butt if you're just gonna go to the bathroom again? Yeah. They said it in uh, better words than that, but this is YouTube and I'm trying to keep my fam uh, my, my channel family friendly here, but you get the just of my joke, right? Well, do you wipe your butt every time it gets dirty? Yeah, that's why you wash your truck every time it gets dirty. You keep everything clean. You don't want to walk around with a dirty butt. You don't want to drive around with a dirty truck either. We'll clean her up once we get to the shop. About 376 liters so far. I know it gets dirty. You gotta remember Old Blue's a work truck. The money-making machine. We like to keep it pretty as we can, but you know, you can't shelter them from everything. They've got to get out there in the world and make some make some money. <clears throat> I just wish I knew how much I was spending. Petro Pass, are uh, any of you guys watching? By any chance, probably not. But if you are, can we can we change that? Like next time you guys do like big renovations and stuff. Like, can we change it? Can we please know how much we're spending at the pump? That would be, that would be awesome. All right, so going off of uh, Flying J prices in Portage La Prairie, we uh, are pulling a roll tight trailer. It's November 23rd, 2022. We filled up for 655 liters. First off, we drove 1,562 kilometers since we last filled, 970 miles. 655 liters or 173 gallons US in Canadian dollars, uh, two dollars and nine or two dollars and ten cents a liter. That was the Portage La Prairie price. Uh, apply that here, that would be one thousand three hundred and seventy four dollars and eighty nine cents Canadian. Costs us a total of eighty eight cents a kilometer or a dollar forty two Canadian per mile to move this truck on this trip. That equaled 41.93 liters per 100 kilometers or 5.61 miles per US gallon. So I could, that's why I put a note on there that I'm pulling a roll tight because it's like a big parachute behind me again, right? It's not as bad as a van trailer, but uh, it's pretty much the same. So we've got another two hours down the road or so. We're gonna go to uh, the co op in Ericsdale, Manitoba. No time to waste. Got two hours left on my clock and I've got about two hours worth of driving to go. So uh, let's turn our lights on so people can see us at night and I can see where, where I'm going. Let's not drag our trailer over the pumps. Beautiful. Well, what, what's the word of the hour? Fantastic. Yes, let's go. At least we got full of juice. Ah, a little roundabout way. It's my fault for forgetting to fuel in the paw.
This is where we're gonna park tonight. I'm really tired. So have a good night, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. I make a lot of videos here on YouTube. Go check out my playlists on my main channel there or on my main channel page. You can find a whole bunch of them. They're uh, divided up by year or by season. We're in season nine right now. So I've been doing this for quite a while. And uh, yeah. Hope you stick around. I'll see you tomorrow.